Please welcome, unquestionably, the proudest man we have here today, and that is the father of the bride. I give you Martin. Thank you, boss. Thank you very much. But bear with me, everyone, all right? Right, good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for coming to Baden Connor's wedding. I would like to say thank you and how beautiful all the bridesmaids, Ellie, Evelyn, and Bonnie look. Take, take a picture now, as I'm sure Bonnie will not look like this later on, laugh out loud. Shut up, Paul. Thank you to Stanley and Charlie, who are very dapper in their suits, and who all have done Bailey Connor Pratt. I would like to say thank you to both mums, especially, and especially Nan Rose, as you have helped out so much and give Bailey and Connor a special day they both deserve. Connor, I would like to welcome you officially to the Mad family. Although you have been a part of 10 years already, I remember the day I saw you and I was giving you a grilling of your life. I had all the questions ready on my clipboard and Bailey said, quick, too, too quick, and just dragged you outside and said, we're going. Bailey, you look absolutely stunning. You took my breath away when I saw you in your dream wedding dress. I don't mind admitting, I had a few tears in my eyes. And the same as I did 27 years ago, Uh, where was I? When he was born. Uh, both of these days are memories I won't forget, and I'm so proud. Not only have you walked down the aisle today to see you grant a beautiful woman, and you have become the biggest, kindest, most generous, loving heart I've ever had on. You are stubborn, strong headed, and stroppy, and stop being who you are. Your one line is a very st. Two make me laugh today when you say stand still and the coral. Make me laugh smiles every time, although you are sometimes questionable, laugh out loud. I wish you all the best on your new adventure with Connor and can't wait to see what this brings. I love you to the moon and back, Bailey Boo. If you would be upstanding and raise a glass to the bride and groom, Bailey and Connor. Oh, 
There. I like the way my news <laughs> So, ladies and gentlemen, will you now please welcome an equally just as proud man? Will you please welcome the father of the bridegroom, Paul? Thank you very much and good afternoon, everybody. Well, <laughs> <laughs> So when, uh, can you all see me? I'm over here. So when Bud asked me to do this speech, initially I was very proud. Then a little fear set in as I thought about what I wanted to say. So traditionally, as Martin's just said, I'd like to thank everybody for coming. It's a beautiful day for them both. And, uh, and a wedding party, fantastic job, all of you, boys and girls, great job. So, Bailey, you look beautiful. Stunning dress. And David? Great job. He's the best man. Well, you got him here. He's so sober and on time, so good job. Before I go on, nobody has proofread this, so it could go wrong. But if you wouldn't mind being patient with me, I'll tell you a snippet of Bud's history. Yeah. Here's a little story all about how our Bud's life turned upside down. Now, Chafin on the Mud is where he was born, and in his bedroom is where he watched most of his, yeah, let's say TV, shall we? <laughs> now, his dad supports Arsenal and his mum West Ham. Mum's a bit tougher than dad, so he's a West Ham fan. Then along come a lady that turned his eye. He thought he'd ask her out, she looked well worth a try. They went on one little date and his world turned around. They found each other and decided to settle down. They built a home, they got dexed, only fate knows what would come next. Now we're all here to wish them well and the best in life, now that Bud and Bailey are husband and wife. Now there's one more thing I'd like to add, and this bit don't rhyme so that may be said. Bud, you can be a twat at times, just like your dad. But above all, you have integrity, honesty, and top of this list, your principles. Now, they're gonna get you into a lot of trouble from time to time. But don't, don't deviate from them, son, because they make you the man you are. I'm very proud of you, son, and the man you've become. Now, all's left for us to do is raise a glass or two. From all of us here, we wish you the best in life together. Mr. and Mrs. Cass, love you both. Cheers, everybody.
Bailey, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage, as a sign of our marriage and, as a of my love and, and as a symbol of my love and commitment. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. And as a symbol of my love and commitment. And as a symbol of my love and commitment. And that's it. Thank you. That's it. So now, ladies and gentlemen, will you now please welcome the main man himself. Oh, here we go. All right. Will you please welcome the bridegroom, Connor. Thank you. Um, firstly, again, I just want to thank everyone uh, for coming to celebrate our wedding together. Um, I understand it is a Friday, so you know, one's got work or job centre, um, or both. It's the uh, one for the people from Chatham in. Um, for those of you that don't know, um, today is Bailey's, it's mine and Bailey's 10th uh, anniversary together. Um, I guess you could say, after 10 Christmases, nine Valentine's Days, nine anniversaries, and 10 birthdays each together, I run out of gift ideas. <laughs> Um, I'd also like to thank my mum and dad for their help with the wedding and all they do and continue to do for me and Bailey. Um, apart from mum, ordering stamps for our invites and most of them turned out to be fake. Um, so, if you had to go to the post office to pay for postage and collect our invite, take it up with her, she is here all night. Um, but thank you both so much. Uh, I love you both. Um, <laughs> I would also like to thank my now mother and father-in-law, Paula and Martin again for all their help um, with the wedding and helping organise the stag and hen parties and for everything you do for us as well and thank you for allowing me to marry your daughter. Rose, Bailey's nan um, and what I now assume is my grandmother-in-law, if that's a thing. Um, thank you um, again for everything. We couldn't have done any of this today without you. You've been nothing short of fantastic um, to us, not just today um, but over the last 10 years. Um, that me and Bailey have been together and I love you. Um, and finally, the bridesmaids, Ellie, Bonnie and Evelyn, Paige Boyer, Stanley, Ring Bearer, Charlie. You all look all beautiful and handsome and you all look so grown up. So thank you for making me feel so old as well. Now on to my beautiful wife, Bailey. Bailey, you've been my rock, my soulmate and my best friend for the last 10 years. I can say wholeheartedly that you're the best thing that's ever happened to me and you've been by my side through the highs and lows and everything in between. I love you so much. Happy anniversary. Before I finish, just would like to raise a toast. Again, thank you for coming today. So, to my beautiful wife, Bailey, I'm sorry it took 10 years, but here we are at last. So to Bailey. Yeah, and thanks to the Fresh Prince of Bella. <laughs> well done. Come on, round of applause for Connor, ladies and gentlemen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we normally finish up with the best man, but David's bottled it. And he goes, nah. Do you want to say a few words or not? Oh, bless him. Is that all right? Oh, well, wait for it. I've got to introduce you now. So, ladies and gentlemen, would you now please welcome the natural-born raconteur. 
a young man who suffers from absolutely no nerves whatsoever. As you can see, he can't wait to get to his feet. Will you please welcome the best man? Well, thank you everyone for coming today. I wasn't told I was meant to do a speech today, so that's why I didn't prepare one. Because it was meant to be this one here. Anyway, everyone looks fantastic tonight. Everyone that took this amazing, honestly. This venue is lovely, and I don't think you can hope for a better night. But anyway, Connor. I have known this man well before I was born. Our parents knew each other, and I'm guessing our kids are going to know each other. So that's always a plus side. But I love this man to world and back. He's been there for me since day one, and I'm always going to be there for him. And he couldn't have chose a better partner if he tried. I mean, she puts up. 